Hey guys, today I want to present a quick example of how a brand is using social media, a uh, mix of display advertising as well as celebrities to increase their brand engagement and uh, brand awareness. Um, so today I was reading the Christian Science Monitor um, where our CEO Gabriel Shulin is quoted and on the right side here I saw um, an advertising that has something to do with Bear Grylls and I happen to be a Bear Grylls fan I've seen uh, many episodes of Man vs. Wild so I said hey why not click on it and see what happens uh, the first thing I'm taken to is a, uh, a YouTube custom channel page uh, by Degree Men so here I have a banner with various sports stars on it from different disciplines from basketball I have Tony Hawk here who's a famous skateboarder um, and I see some advertising by Degree Men featuring their different products giving some information on each one um, when I click nothing seems to happen it could just be a Chrome issue um, now I can watch some of these videos it looks like different sports stars are challenging Bear Girls to complete um, various adventures that have to do with their uh, particular sports. So Tony Hawk just challenged Bear Grylls to complete a challenge involving a skateboard. Um, I can share this content quite easily as is with most YouTube videos. Um, embed it, copy the link, post it on Twitter, on Facebook, etc. Um, I can also click here to challenge Bear myself. So that's something that interests me the most here. I'm, um, I mean, I, I do like seeing how he accomplishes some of these challenges, um, but you know, I wouldn't mind getting on TV or uh, even you know having somehow engaging with Bear Grylls. Um, so I'm taken to a, a Facebook page. Um, this is a an app that is on the Degree Men Facebook page. They've got about 5,000 likes already. Um, so this is a custom page that can easily be built onto a Facebook page. Um, and it looks like I can win a trip for two to a major US sporting event if I uh, submit my challenge idea. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have to grant uh, Degree Men permission to uh, interact with my profile. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I also am required to like their page in order to um, submit my idea. So I'm going to do that as well. can also comment so it's a little buggy because um, after having completed all that those two steps I should be taken to a page where I can actually uh, submit my idea so I have to click again and now I'm able to fill in this form uh, where I describe my challenge, input my information, etc. Um, now you'd think that Facebook already has this information about me, which they do, but they aren't allowed to specifically uh, share this with Degree Men. So this is a way for Degree Men to capture my information um, on a voluntary basis. Uh, I can also decide to receive similar offers in the future. Um, basically increases their database, uh, Degree Men's database of, of uh, various email addresses. Um, so that's it. 
Um, what I wanted to really get across here is that their degree men is using display advertising to bring people to uh, a social media campaign, essentially, uh, or at least a um, a campaign hosted on social media. I'm not sure how much, how much social media marketing they're actually performing here, um, but they're using social media platforms to uh, engage users with their brand. And I believe their degree men's really a, a deodorant antiperspirant focused on uh, sports, so they're they're trying to reach a variety of, of sports uh, enthusiasts. And they're doing it across multiple platforms. So uh, we were on a news website, we're on YouTube, we end up on Facebook. Um, so they're they're reaching users on on all the various platforms where they they can find them. And that's it.